हेलो रिवान इन दिस आई एन आर नंबर एटी सेवन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट अपगार स्कोर विच इज़ अ पीडियाटिक टॉपिक एंड वेरी फ्रिक्वेंटली आज कैन एग्जाम सो वॉट इज अपगार स्कोर अपगार स्कोर इज अ ऑब्जेक्टिव मेथड ऑफ एसेसमेंट ऑफ द न्यू बॉर्न वाइटल साइंस राइट सो इट इज़ अ ऑब्जेक्टिव मेथड एंड वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू डू वी आर गोइंग टू मेजर द न्यू बॉर्न वाइटल साइंस फॉलोइंग द डिलीवरी एंड दैट विल बी टेन पॉइंट स्केल्स right so there will be 0 1 2 and like that there will be a 10 point scale from 1 to 2 right so like that we'll be having measurement 1 to 2 and there will be five parameters so when it will be performed it will be performed at 1 minute and 5 minutes after the birth right so what is apgar score apgar score is based on see that name itself is the mnemonic right so a is for appearance p is for pulse g is for grimace a is for activity and r is for respiratory effort right so these are the important points we have to remember about apgar score so in this resuscitation must be initiated before the 1 minute score is assigned right so what it means that you have to start resuscitation if it is required without doing this or without waiting for the 1 minute score right so what is apgar score it is not used for the resuscitation so that is why i said it should be started resuscitation should be started before 1 minute score right when you, you think that baby required the resuscitation you have to prefer that thing right so this is not the guidance for the resuscitation but change in the apgar score at the sequential time so 1 minute 5 minute and further when you are doing the apgar score after the birth this will reflect that how well baby is responding to resuscitative effort right so that is what it shows that on the serial measurement right so when you are going to have a apgar measurement and this is a serial measurement or sequential time then it will reflect that how well baby is going to respond to the resuscitative effort right so apgar score should be obtained every 5 minutes right it should be obtained every 5 minutes uh, you know for up to 20 minutes right so up to 20 minutes you have to do every 5 minutes if the 5 minute apgar score is less than 7 yeah this is the important criteria if apgar score is less than 7 at 5 minute then you have to repeat apgar for next 20 minutes for every 5 minutes right so that is what i am saying it should be done every 5 minutes for next 20 minutes if 5 minute apgar score is less than 7 right and false negative sorry 1 minute uh, and 5 minute apgar score so whatever we are doing 1 minute and 5 is 5 5 minute apgar score they have no predictive value for long term outcome so we cannot calculate the long term outcome by by seeing the 1 and 5 minute of the apgar score and it will not also predict about the neurological outcome so it will not predict the neurological outcome also right that is important point about the 1 and 5 minute so it is not for predictive value of the long long term outcome and it will also not predict the neurological outcome in the baby and we can have a false negative apgar score what do you mean by false negative apgar score they will be having acidosis but apgar score will be normal right so acidosis will be present but apgar score will be normal so that can be maternal acidosis or it can be a high fetal catecholamine levels or even some full term infants can be presenting with this right so what are the apgar score as i said they are having they are having indicators five parameters appearance a for appearance or color p is for pulse heart rate g is for grimace reflex stimulation a is for activity where you will check the muscle tone and r is respiratory effort not the rate that is very very important pyq so r is respiratory effort and it is not the rate right so we have given a scoring from 0 to 1 so that is why i said 0 to 10 score will be given so appearance what is 0 0 will be blue or pale color body is pink and extremities are blue remember if body is pink and extremities are blue so that will be said to be 1 right on appearance if body is pink then we will say that it is 2 pulse or heart rate no pulse zero score less than 100 beats per minute 1 and more than 100 beats per minute will be 2 grimace or reflex stimulation no response zero grimace or very weak cry so that will be one cries coughs and sneezes will be in the two right activity means muscle tone so flaccid or no movement so flaccid or no movement zero 
fixed arms and legs right so fixed arm and legs when we are seeing that will be one and actively moving extremities right so when they are actively moving extremities that will be two right coming to the respiratory effort no breathing zero slow and irregular breathing one and good crying means it is two so this is how we calculate abgar score and we will this is how we will uh, design the you know abgar scoring zero one to two for these five parameter appearance pulse grimace activity and respiratory effort so here what is the interpretation of one minute abgar score right so what is the interpretation of one minute abgar score if it is coming between seven to ten so that means baby condition is excellent excellent condition and there is no birth asphyxia so what action we require that time so need no particular object you know no particular action and you have to just observe that's all right four to six abgar score right so four to six abgar score that will be showing you moderate amount of the birth asphyxia and this patient may be shifted to the mother but it needs to be carefully observed see that seven to ten no need for any particular observation but four to six it can be shifted to the mother and it will be carefully observed right that is what we have to remember but when it is one to three it is a severe birth asphyxia and it will require care in the NICU. So these are important point about the one minute Apgar score. So that will decide that what should be the interpretation and what action we have to take. Right. So keep revising this topic for your exam.